Uh, the last entry was a corn chowder, and I thought it was very good. Uh, this was a Mexican cornbread, and I thought it was good also. The entry that's missing <laughs> was a little bitty tortilla chip. Uh, I thought the corn flavor didn't quite come through on that. The chip had more flavor than what was it stuffed. And that is a custard, and that was very good. And this, I don't know what it is, really. And I, uh, a, fr a corn fritter. A fritter of some kind. I, I didn't taste a lot of corn in it. I, I'm sure it's there. But I like the chowder best. Okay. Uh, Barbara Lusk, um, my favorite. I'm unlike you. I like that. Uh, fr the like fritter. I like the fritter. I really did, and I like the corn muffin too. And my least favorite was this, the chowder. I'm Roy Losey, and I loved the fritter. I really did. I thought it was wonderful, and I did like this chowder, and I liked the muffin. And this is make a good dessert. Mm -hmm. Very good dessert. Jean Bon, I love the fritter. I like the chowder. Uh, in fact, I liked everything. <laughs> I think those two were my favorites. Then again, I like the chowder. It's nice empty. I like that. I thought that was good flavorful and warm. Had a lot of stuff in it. This is my least favorite here. This was good, had, had a lot of filling into it. This, to me, was dry, needed more. This right here is too sweet. It was a custard, but it still had, it would have been good in a different setting, but this by far was the best I had. My name is Roxanne Gould, and I wasn't really a fond of the texture of the, um, of the corn pudding or custard or whatever it was. Um, I really enjoyed the corn chowder, as you can tell by the empty bowl. Um, I enjoyed the muffin, but it was very difficult to get out of the shell. Um, but the taste was very good. Um, I think my favorite um, was actually the tomato soup. Very creamy and delicious, real intense tomato flavor and nicely complemented with the, the spices and, and uh, the herbs that were in the soup. Um, I also um, very much like the, uh, the tomato and watermelon salad also. Uh, I had some nice feta cheese in it and uh, the, the flavor is really complimented. Hello, I'm Thomas Meister and I'm uh, judging the tomato category. Uh, the first one, it was why it was delicious. It, you really didn't, the, the tomato didn't really come out in it. The second one here, um, the dip was good, but unless you had a piece of tomato in it, it, you couldn't taste the tomato at all. The soup was delicious. It was creamy. It was tomatoey. It was perfectly spiced. It was there. Um, as for this, I think it was sort of like a, a turkey tetrazzini or something to that effect. Um, the, tur the, the meat tasted smoked. Uh, you can taste the tomato in there, but it was missing some type of spice to just pull it all together. My favorite was the last one. First bite I had was watermelon, threw me off. Uh, tomatoes were good, they were ripe, they were heirloom tomatoes. I also had onions and uh, feta cheese in there, which really brought out the tomato flavor. Uh, my name's Robert Phillips, I'm judging tomatoes tonight. Uh, as you can look at my plate here, number one I thought was pretty good. Uh, it did not have a strong enough tomato flavor to it, it could have had a little bit more. Number two, the dip was a little bit weak on flavor, I thought. It could have had more tomato taste to it. Uh, the soup was my favorite overall. The, it was a real rich, almost like it had a cream or something in it. It was really good. The uh, number four category was, was really good on the pasta. And the tomato watermelon salad was good also, but my favorite was number three, the soup. Kathy Holland judging the tomato category. My favorite was number four, the entry with the pasta and tasted like chicken and the tomatoes. I thought it was very, um, was a very um, nice entry. And my least favorite was the tomato. Um, I didn't taste much flavor there and the tomatoes and the, um, just didn't have a right flavor for me. I'm Lori Hayes, I judged the tomato category. Uh, number one was really good. Number two was good. They all were good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all.
quarter. One more. Uh -oh. Well, I like him except for the weird slope. Yep. I don't know about that one or that one. I think, I think, I think one of these two. Yeah. A little dressing, he'll be okay. You had undressed chicken? Is that waterproof? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Sauce proof? It's sauce proof? Smoke proof? tried it before. So it was a little bit too hot for my preferences. Number three was dry to me and not much flavored I guess um, on it. Number four well, overall was pretty good except that it was a little dry and number five was overall pretty good. And you'll prop these from the front up. Like she said it'll hide those the length of those. Just a minute. Yep, now center. Side to side. Yeah. This is just like doing my school. It's all about presentation. It's all it's That's a puzzle. It. All in all, the plate was very good. All five rib entries looked very good. Um, number one was exceptionally tender, not over tender. And number five also was, was very tender. Both had great taste. Um, all in all, all five entries towed the line very, very well. And I would say there's possibly two top entries on this plate. Likewise, a good plate. Some with a bit too much tenderness, too much fall off the bonish. Overall, though, I enjoyed all of these. Uh, for me in particular, this was one of my favorite samples. I concur. This was an excellent selection of ribs. Shows a lot of um, professionalism on the part of the cookers because this is difficult to cook. Um, my favorite was number one, and the only problem I may have had would be number four. The skin was a little bit too tough on the outside, but overall the flavors were really top. I enjoyed one. I finished off number five. Number three, it was not very good. Hi. Overall, excellent uh, product here. A couple were overcooked, but flavor overall was uh, very good. Number one had an excellent flavor. A little bit tough to pull from the bone, but uh, overall it was uh, the best flavor of the bunch. Whoever cooked that uh, <clears throat> number one rib, uh, if he hadn't overcooked it, that'd been a perfect rib. That's the best flavored rib I've eaten in a long time. Uh, we had two that were undercooked, and the other two were overcooked. But that one just really nailed it. And I like the bone in the part of the flavor, too. This one's just a basic, it's about eight pounds. I use a Swift at the restaurant. Bone in. Do those.
Are you on the money muscles? Yes. Side. Of course, you would, you'd be trimming it up a little bit more, but we slice it a little look, look like that. It's really tender. To me, there really was not a great entry in all of these. Number one uh, w had uh, much too much smoke in it. Number two had good bark on the outside, but not a lot of flavor. Uh, number three, one piece was reasonably done, the other was dry. Number four was my favorite. It had the most flavor, but it was also mushy and overcooked. And uh, number five was just there. There wasn't a lot to say about it. This is just like fishing. Name, rank, serial number? No. <laughs> um, the first one was. Oops, sorry. Uh, the first one was uh, pretty dry. The flavor was uh, too intense. Uh, the second one, uh, the flavor was pretty good. Um, it was. It was. It was average. Uh, the third one, to me, really didn't have any flavor, and uh, the fourth one was overcooked, and the fifth one, which is the last one, was undercooked, and it was tough. Do all six of them? Five. Five. Oh, whatever. <laughs> all right. Yeah, number one um, was very bitter, uh, unenjoyable flavor. Uh, number two was okay. Uh, Nothing great, nothing bad. Uh, number three was my favorite. It, to me, it had the good flavor and tender. Number four was a little too sweet and overdone. And number five was very bland and undercooked. Okay, this is the brisket entry. Uh, entry number one was a very poor cut, almost all fat, and the taste was just not there. Uh, entry number three was fairly good, had a chili taste. Uh, I like that one. And my favorite was number four. It was real moist and had a good smoky flavor. Okay. Um, yeah, I would have to say that uh, number four was, uh, was my favorite. Number one was uh, too fatty. Um, number three, something about the piece that I got had just a, a slight off-putting flavor, but definitely number four um, stood out for me on this one. I had number two and number four were uh, my best picks. Um, number two was a little bit dry, but it was nice and tender. Uh, and uh, number four was uh, moist, both of those. The flavor off just a little bit, but overall very good. I thought number one was uh, fatty, real fatty. Number two was good. It was two and four were the best uh, best entries. And number five was dry. It was awfully dry and not much flavor. Uh, my favorite was number two. I thought it had real good uh, flavor and it was real tender. Uh, number one was my least favorite. It was um, kind of fatty and it just didn't have any flavor at all. And, the rest of them were just, they were just okay. I thought um, four was best. One was real, as everyone says, very fatty and did not have any flavor. And uh, two was good.